Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain of What's gonna guys, so I'm not sure if you've seen it yet or not But I'm about to swap the 26s on the 22 and do that video But before I got them off a of chopper I wanted to make a video talking to y'all about how they handle and perform on this truck Because there's been a lot of people asking like How's the ride? How's the power? How's the fuel economy? All these things because before you go and spend $3,500 putting wheels and tires in your truck, you kind of want to know how it's going to react to it beforehand. So this is a 2006 GMC Sierra 5.3 4L60E with a 2.5 inch leveling kit, 26 by 10s, 35, 13, 50, 26 tires. This is probably one of the wheel and tire setups that you're kind of striving to go for if you're watching this video. So could very well have a cat eye if you're watching this video as well. Can't really say for you if it's going to be better or worse, but as far as me, there's really no rubbing. As you see, I've got a nice little trim job. It looks completely factory in my opinion. It helps that it's black for sure, but just a nice little corner cut. So it doesn't rub up here at all i had to do that trim for the mud grab so it's probably the exact same if you were to run these and you have your uncut bumper you're probably going to rub just a little bit down here on the bottom and if you just take your time i'll kind of show you all the angles so you can cut it just like mine if you want because it looks really really clean in my opinion you really would never notice it being cut now obviously different wheels different tires all those things can make a big difference on does it rub or not or like i said if you have a cat eye it could rub worse you might have to trim more uh, if we look under here we're not hitting the torsion bar there uh, up here we're not rubbing on the frame or anything so yeah i mean i don't want to tell you no it's not going to rub at all and then you get them and it rubs a little bit and it drives you crazy for some reason but as far as my experience no rubbing as far as driving goes let's go ahead and hop in it we'll go for a quick drive get y'all out of the wind hopefully y'all can hear me and i'm just going to talk it over with you what my experience has been putting 26s on the truck all right guys so as far as ride quality and stuff goes it obviously depends a lot on what tires you go with more than anything along with how well your wheels and tires are balanced or able to be balanced right so this is coming from taking the mud grabs off in 20s and the mud grabs to these now obviously i do remember driving it when it was stock as well where it was just you know super smooth no leveling kit none of that just super clean riding truck right and to say it rides bad now would be really dramatic right it does not ride bad the, the ride quality is definitely down from the mud grabs okay so obviously the 26s a little bit sidewall that could have something to do with it the comforcers themselves might have something to do with it i don't really know um, but the ride quality is down from the mud grabs a little more bouncy uh, a little more play in the steering wheel uh, you know the, the lugs you can i feel like you can feel them um, the mud grabs are really smooth right there nitto makes a great tire Ta -da. these suckers are heavy they're super super heavy i haven't weighed them yet i need to do that video as well but they are very very heavy so immediately when you get in your truck and drive after putting these on you're gonna notice the weight in a couple different ways number one obviously acceleration it's gonna be down you're gonna notice that your truck's gonna have to work a little harder to turn these things now like cruising probably gonna be fine when you're flooring it you might not notice that much but the normal accelerations like 2000 rpms and stuff you're gonna notice it being slower than normal right and that's just kind of to be expected especially if you're going from stock to this you're definitely gonna notice a big big difference now I even noticed a difference when I was going from the 35s and the 20s to these these are definitely heavier it's definitely working the truck a little bit more and especially right now with the long tubes and uh, no tune it, it definitely is sluggish right now if you can see my hand my hands wiggling where like with the mud grabs it really wasn't doing that um, even the suspension I, I just feel like I can feel that weight and these things have got to be 120 plus pounds for sure per wheel and tire so obviously if you can feel the weight in the drivetrain like this you're going to notice a miles per gallon decrease probably dramatically like i said especially if you're coming from stock so i know that's that's important right now gas is really expensive and it could be a 
a deal breaker because who cares if your truck looks cool if you can't drive it when you want to. So, um, yes, your MPG is definitely going to go down. My truck's saying 14.8. Now, I haven't had the speedometer recalibrated for these, so it could be off. I don't know why it would be higher, but it says 14.8 right there. That's pretty much where it's always said. Um, so maybe my truck just likes saying that it's getting that average fuel economy or possibly maybe it is i don't know all right guys so you already seen the video of the 26s on the 22 and i wanted to add this into the end of the video where i was talking about how these 26s reacted on chomper so now that they're on the 22 how do they affect it so for starters yes they are heavier so i do feel a difference slightly with the acceleration not so much in the handling department on the 22 obviously it's a brand new truck it's bigger it's heavier it's you know more beefed up than my 2006 right that's just part of it now like i said there's a little bit of a you just feel the weight a little bit more when accelerating but now that i've had them on for a couple days i really don't notice it at all the truck honestly it drives totally fine you saw the clips it'll still spin the tires new truck 342 gears 10 speed transmission it really doesn't have any issues with these big heavy wheels and tires not like the previous generations like chomper if you don't know it only has four speed transmission so that's a lot more that each gear has to do versus here there's a bunch of different gears that really chop up that gear ratio that makes it a lot easier on the truck to handle these big heavy wheels and tires so it definitely does perform a lot easier and better than the 20 uh, 2006 um, now as far as handling the stuff as we're kind of I'm driving slow right now but I usually carve these turns up pretty good on this road um, there is a slight by not I wouldn't even call it a vibration there's a slight wiggle at certain speeds in the steering wheel and I guess that is the wheels and tires something's not fully balanced or whatever the case is um, they're supposed to have been balanced obviously I went kind of balanced paid two hundred and forty dollars for that but you know when you're talking about big heavy wheels and tires like this sometimes they can't be perfect um, that's unfortunately part of it usually it's a more difficult thing to do when you have wides like 14 wides and 35s 37s those are usually more difficult to balance than these but with that being said I'm guessing there's a little bit that isn't balanced out perfectly because there is a little bit in the steering wheel like when I'm going slow I'm going 30 like 35 right now no problem feels buttery smooth no issues whatsoever uh, when I'm going like over 65 no issues whatsoever it's very smooth on the highway but that like 50 to 60 mile an hour range if there's a little bit of just a just a touch in the steering wheel now like I said the new trucks do hide it a lot better so that feedback comes through chomper a lot more than it does on this truck this truck really hides it a lot but there is still a little bit noticeable in that 50 to 60 mile an hour range which does kind of suck because that's typically the speed obviously that you're going on you know normal highways or whatever that 50 55 miles an hour 60. wild clap wagon <laughs> freaking straight pipe true dual tahoe just skint back go into this if you're buying 26s and 35s if you got an older truck there's a good chance it might have some vibration some little wiggle in the steering wheel you might have some feedback coming from the tires because they are very heavy they're big that might just be part of it but if you got a newer truck that you're putting these on you might notice a little bit but it definitely hides a lot of it of course this truck only has 2600 miles on it so if you got a newer truck with more miles it could affect it differently all right guys well that's going to be about it hopefully this video was somehow insightful to y'all and answered the questions that you were wondering if you want that big wheel look you can stuff them on a level truck pretty much no problem um you can run them on a lifted truck they'll look good as well but uh yeah you're definitely gonna have some side effects of the really big heavy wheels like i just got done explaining to y'all so i feel like i I went pretty in-depth and now you know so hopefully you did enjoy comment down below let me know what your experience has been with running big wheels and with that being said i will see y'all in the next one